Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about GPS time. Okay. So generally, GPS time is a time scale maintained by atomic clocks of satellites and ground control stations. We generally call them as ground stations or earth stations of global positioning system. In short, we are calling this global positioning system as GPS. Okay. So the position location calculation process can be added to the GPS receiver clock. Okay. So for a time measurement that is synchronized to a GPS time standard. Okay. So what is the GPS time standard we are going to see now. Okay. So for each and every clock pulses, okay, or time we need an oscillator, right? So here the crystal oscillator is used in the GPS receiver, which is highly stable over a period of few seconds, but uh, it will have a change in frequency with respect to the temperature and also with respect to time. Okay. So uh, due to the raise or decrease in the temperature, okay, the frequency tend to change with respect to over a period of time. Okay. Now every GPS receiver is automatically synchronized to every other GPS receiver. So, so there will be uh, multiple GPS receivers, right? Not only our ones, whatever we are using. So in several parts of the world, there will be several GPS receiver, which are uh, activating or using the same, uh, using the same uh, satellite at a single point of time. So every receiver is automatically synchronized to every other GPS receiver, any, uh, anywhere in the world through this particular GPS time. Okay. Now, that's why as these are automatically synchronized from one GPS receiver to the other GPS receiver. Okay. So they are considered as super clocks. Okay. So the time standards on each GPS satellite consists of two. One is a cesium clock pulse as well as rubidium clocks. Okay. So these rubidium clocks are called as atomic clocks. Okay. So an atomic clock uses fundamental resonance of cesium okay, or rubidium uh, molecule as a frequency re uh, reference to lock a crystal oscillator. So with respect to a, a crystal oscillator, we are uh, using the resonance with respect to cesium or rubidium molecule as a frequencies. Okay? Now the basic requirements of a satellite navigation is like uh, GPS. Generally, uh, three satellites are sufficient to get the global positioning system or or the uh, GPS to function, but there are at least four satellites for the navigation system. Okay. So from, uh, for transmitting suit, uh, suitable coded signals from the known push. Okay. So among these four satellites, three satellites are required to find the distance between the sa each satellite and the, uh, satellite receiver. And the fourth one, uh, what about the fourth satellite means the fourth satellite will remove, uh, unwanted receiver clock errors. Okay. So these particular atomic clocks are updated by controlling ground station. Okay. Or the earth station to uh, keep them within one microseconds of universal time coordinate. We generally call it as UTC, right? So these particular GPS clocks or the this particular atomic clocks will be following the universal time coordinate, which is nothing but UTC time uh, standards. Okay. So the navigation message broadcast by each satellite contains information about its current clock. Okay. Current clock errors. Okay. With respect to the GPS time.